Carlos. Well, I think it comes down to command. Uh, this is the wrong lineup to, you know, be erratic and, and get behind. And, you know, it just seemed like every hitter was 2-0, 2-1. And you, you just can't do it. They, they have too many good hitters and too many veteran hitters that uh, take advantage of that. So uh, he's got to be better at, at being able to get ahead, get ahead early. Um, you know, his, his slider is not going to be effective if you're always, um, you know, behind and, and trying to get the swing and miss stuff. So uh, it's just stuff for him to work on. And, and you know, he's, he's struggled with it a few times here and there. And, and then he always finds a way to, to you know, bounce back and, and find it. DL stint, you think? Yeah, he uh, pulled his hamstring, and uh, it'll he'll be on the DL, and then we'll have a, a corresponding move tomorrow. With Tanaka, was he just able to change speeds pretty well against? Yeah, the it, well, it's it, you know it's a guy that if he does get behind, he has a split that, that gets people chasing. He, he's just always done a very good job of taking advantage of, of an aggressive, um, you know hitting team and, and we swing a lot you know it's we'll chase some stuff and he uh he's really good at doing it you know that split's always tough to lay off um and then once they got the lead he just seemed to, to get into a nice little groove of um, you know throw a few more fastballs but uh slowing it down i mean i you know he had some that were you know in the 70s and he's just able to keep you off balance not a surprise but five straight years for chris uh, every year he's been a starter and all star yeah i mean he, you know we've you know, talked about it a lot. He's he's one of the best in the game. I mean, you look at his numbers; he, he ranks up there with a lot of the best that's that have ever pitched. So, uh, it's not a surprise. He's earned it. Uh, you know, you're proud of him to be able to do that, and and just the maturity stuff that he's uh, been able to do. You know, this early in his career is um, you know it's 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 a great honor. It really is. Is there anything, uh, Robin? Is there anything else that you and Coop uh, might come up with for Rodan in the second half to? Well, he's he's been able to bounce back, you know. Even last year, I think he he got better in in the second half, and um, you know, a lineup like this is going to take advantage of that. And he's just he's got to be better with command, and he knows that. Uh, that part, I'm not sure. I don't know if it was when he was trying to when he was going for a double, or uh, I think the ball he hit the second base that he was trying to beat out. Uh, it was the, the ball in deep second base. Chris should be a pretty big, pretty easy candidate. What's Chris that? should be a pretty easy candidate to start the All Star game. Yeah, I mean, if you know, for me, I, I personally would, but I'm not the, I'm not, you know, Ned's going to make that choice. But um, you know, he, he's as good as anybody, so he, he could do it. And it, you know, I hope he does it. But um, you know, again, it's up to them.